In the following video, I'm going to show you how to create the footer section in Porto. Uh, and we're going to uh, show you how to create something similar to what Kristen has created on her site. Um, the footer area is made up of three blocks, uh, one for social networks, uh, one for uh, an image block, and here you can add a custom menu or categories, uh, depending on what you'd like to add. And to do that, I'm going to head over to uh, the WordPress backend, and you'll want to go to Appearance and Widgets. And in here, the widget areas we're going to use today is the footer first, footer second, footer third. And in the first widget area, I'm going to add social networks. So you can just drag and drop that from the left hand side, and you can just add a title. And just click save. Um, you'll also want to then add um, an image block. So that's flow images. You can leave the title uh, blank and you can set uh, the image here. So uh, let's just select this uh, mark and we'll add this attachment. And you can set a max height in that if required. So uh, I'll set 200 pixels. And I'll just hit save. And finally, uh, for the th last uh, widget area, you can either use a custom menu uh, or you can use categories, archives, anything you like. But for this instance, I'm going to add categories. And that'll be the categories for blog posts. And just hit save. So I'm just going to refresh this page. And now you'll see I've added three uh, widget areas, social networks. I've added a, an image here in the middle and some post categories. And you'll see right now I've got um, a color in my background. And uh, you'll be able to edit that as well. So for your footer, uh, to do that, you'll want to go to uh, flow themes. And uh, once you're there, you'll want to go to the footer settings area. And here you'll see there's a footer background color. Uh, you can change that to whatever you like. And uh, then you can just hit save. And I'll just refresh the page so you can see the changes. Great. Uh, just to note, uh, you can also set the text color uh, to whatever you like. So maybe you've uploaded or you want to use a black background. And you can just change the text color to white and uh, you could hit save as well. So that is an, another option for you. As you can see, everything's turned white, except for the image. Um, so for this, uh, we'll also want to show you how to add um, a background image like Kristen has done. And this is uh, done with a little uh, CSS snippet. So you can take the CSS snippet. Um, we'll add it in the comment section, um, and you'll be able to add that. So. What you'll want to edit from this is the background URL. And here, you'll see there's a link to an image. And that's one I've just uploaded on my server. And uh, I'll show you how to get that. So for now, I'm just going to copy and paste this into the CSS section. And I'll just hit Save Changes. And now you'll see that we have a background image for the site. Of course, you'll not want to use white text whenever uh, you add a light image at the background. Now, for example, if you want to change that and you want to have your own uh, color or image, uh, you'll want to upload one to the media library. So head over to media. You'll just want to uh, click add new. And then you can just drag and drop in any of your images that you like. And uh, now to get the URL for that image, once it's uploaded, you can go back to the media library, uh, select the background image, and then there's a file URL. You'll want to click that until you've uh, selected it all, copy it, and then you can head over to the CSS section again and simply paste uh, the URL between the brackets. And then you can just save. 
And now whenever I refresh, you'll see that I've got a new background. And that's it folks, that's how you add a, a custom background image and uh, set up your footer with Porto.